Alexa, light on. Hi, my name is Andy and I'm a senior at Lehigh University. I'm majoring in computer science and business. This might not be the typical Lehigh experience, especially if you're watching this video because you're considering Lehigh since I'm a senior and live off campus. Hopefully though, it'll give you a good insight into a day at Lehigh. I usually start off my morning routine dragging myself into the bathroom, putting in contacts, brushing my teeth, and moisturizing. As you can see, I'm probably still more asleep than awake at this point because I had to stay up late last night finishing an essay. Right now, I'm heading to my 920 class, Computers, the Internet, and Society. The class mostly talks about ethics and the information age and how it pertains to society. This is the class I had to write an essay for last night. The topic was whether or not patients should get to own their own healthcare data, which they currently don't. While the intuitive answer would be yes, there's actually a lot of things you would have to consider, like patients withholding critical information or details. I found the topic to be really interesting and took a negative approach. The class is mostly discussion-based, and has a large mix of majors, so we always get some interesting perspectives. I actually really love the feel of the campus. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's like, looking at this landscape with these vibrant fall colors is so different from living in a city like I'm used to. The campus looks amazing in almost any weather, but I especially love it when it rains. It's a hard sell, but I feel like everything looks more alive when it's raining. Right now, I'm walking into Packard Lab, which is our engineering building. It's basically a castle, looking like it came straight from 15th century England. Most computer science classes are in this building, although they're transitioning into Mountaintop, which I have a class in later. I need to pretend I have friends, so look happy for a second. <laughs> now, I'm riding a bus up to Mountaintop, which was just renovated last year. It's about a 15 minute ride up, which makes some of the classes up there hard to get to on time, but the professors understand. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the sideways design of the buses, because being rocked side to side instead of forward and back feels much worse to me, especially if I'm trying to do something. This is Building C. It's the in-transition home to the Art and Computer Science Departments of Lehigh. I have a 1045 class here, Graphic Design. Like I was saying, the professors understand the bus situation, so the class has changed to unofficially start at 11. This is one of the classes that I'm taking to fulfill my humanities requirements, but I'm also personally interested. I've already given up on drawing anything with my hands, so I'm hoping technology can make up for my non-existent artistic ability. I just finished my class. Normally, I would head straight down to campus, but today I'm waiting around to grab something from a friend. The high ceiling reminds me of an airplane hangar, somewhere to like casually throw my plane. As you can see, Building C is a very modern looking building with lots of glass and clean cuts and what I like to call surgical white. It used to be the research center for Bethlehem Steel, one of America's largest steel producers. It's still pretty empty usually, but I imagine it'll get a lot busier once more classes move up here. This is one of the nicer features of Mountaintop. I forgot my ID card, so I can't show you the inside, but it's basically a self-serve convenience store. It's not quite as advanced as something like the Amazon Go store, since you still have to scan the items yourself, but it's still pretty neat. Wow, that's so cool. Thank you. 
Did you like, how'd you, how'd you make that? I laser cut it. Oh wait, that's sick. Thank you. Once I finally get on campus, I go meet some friends at Wendy's for lunch. I don't really eat on campus much anymore since Hi. I no longer have a meal plan. Wendy's 4 for 4 is my go-to meal as a college student on a budget. Oh, Yo! <coughs> Wait, that's busted. That's like 145. Oh, critical! Wait, you don't need it. I just finished eating and now I'm heading to my next class, Entrepreneurship 101. On the right here, you can see the University Center, which is mostly used for dining and student events. The building on the left is Linderman Library, which is consistently voted as one of the most beautiful college libraries in America. I won't be going inside, but it's gorgeous. My class is pretty high up the hill, so it's a bit of a climb, but it's a good workout. You know what they say about Lehigh students, they have really big calves. Now, I just want to point out how terrible these steps are. They're spaced in such an awkward way that you're always stepping up on one foot and it drives me crazy. I'm getting back from my class to the South Bethlehem anthem of police sirens. I forgot to mention that I usually bike to and from class. You saw my bike briefly in the morning, but recently it's been too cold and my hands freeze while I'm riding. Of course, however, I forget my keys going home. Thankfully, my friend was home and was able to let me in. I'm pretty beat, but I made some plans to head to the gym. The gym is actually pretty nice. It's not as huge as some gyms I've seen at other schools, but it gets the job done. I normally come every other day, except when I don't. Daniel car sounds so fucking sick, like I actually want to run. And of course, you gotta drive home from the gym to make sure you don't pull a muscle. Now, I'm getting prepared to head to a community dinner for a winter program I'll be attending on Lehigh and Silicon Valley. <laughs> On the, on the sheet and find it. Okay. Right. Lehigh in Silicon Valley is a credit course where there's a cohort of students traveling to Silicon Valley over winter break, meeting entrepreneurs, founders, VCs, and generally important people. It's built around live case studies where we'll be able to interact with decision makers and pick their minds about how they came to the decisions that they did. It's been running for eight years and came to be highly recommended from past participants. Tonight was kind of a meet and greet and general information session with the accepted students. After dinner's finish, I'm walking back home on East 3rd Street. It's home to some of my favorite restaurants in Bethlehem, Shangwei and Kuki. I'm freezing, it's like 30 degrees out, and I'm wearing two thin pieces of cloth. I might have gotten frostbite to get some of this footage. What? Finally, I get some time to start doing work. My workload this semester is pretty light since I've taken most of my core classes already. Right now, I'm working on my capstone project, which is basically the senior project for a major. There's a team of three of us, me and two others, who worked with a consulting company over two semesters to develop a health app integrated with Amazon DeepLens. Progress is actually pretty rough right now since we lost access to a lot of things due to some issues about security and our sponsor company, but we'll get through it. A couple of hours of work a day is usually enough to get me through my classes. Then, I usually have some free time before bed. Today, I'm working on editing this video, but other days I'll be playing League of Legends or working on some games in Android Studio. This is usually when I try to relax and wind down for my day. Overall, this is about a normal day for me here at Lehigh. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alexa, light off.